So what's the best pre-emergent for your lawn? Well, it's gonna depend on some circumstances, but I'm gonna talk to you about several pre-emergents and talk to you about which one may be right for your lawn depending on the situation. Let's get started right now. Hey guys, I'm Jason Creel and this is The Lawn Care Life. Thanks for watching the video. And what I tell people, I'm out spraying pre-emergent um, oftentimes early in the year, like you know, I'm in Alabama, so oftentimes I'm spraying uh, January and February and then I come back and I'm spraying again in September, October. Those times may be different for you if you live in, in a different area. Um, but when I'm spraying in January and February on Bermuda lawns, I tell people, I say, you know, in many ways, this is the most important application of the year because if you have a, a, a lawn that's just loaded with crabgrass and you skip this pre-emergent application, then you can fertilize and fertilize and, and, and do all kind of post-emergent applications, things like that. But getting that pre-emergent down to prevent most of that crabgrass, and I say prevent, it doesn't, it, my understanding, it doesn't actually prevent the weed from the weed, it kills the weed, you know, right after, shortly after it germinates. So it's, um, it, you never see it in the lawn, basically. So you, sometimes we use that language. But anyway, uh, that is going to be the most important application because if you can keep that crabgrass out, now, even if you got a little bit of Bermuda grass, you can start fertilizing and get it to recover. So, so let me show you some of the pre emergence talk to you about the timing of them, what weeds we're trying to go after with these, and why I use one instead of the other. Okay, so let's start early in the year. Like I said, I'm in Alabama to adjust this accordingly to where you live, but I, I put this product out right here, and, it, and the crabgrass typically germinates, my understanding, when soil temperatures reach 55 degrees, and that can vary from year to year. So in our area, that's sometimes late February, early March, uh, and the soil temperatures, uh, uh, again, my understanding is they're going to have to stay at 55 uh, for, for a little bit. So you may have, have several warm days in a row to get those soil temperatures up and that crabgrass germinates. Now, if you don't have this out and watered in before that happens, then it's, it's not going to do you a whole lot of uh, good on crabgrass. And I mentioned crabgrass here because that is, is one of the weeds that will just completely take over a lawn, but it also is going to help with, with other annual weeds. You notice I said annual weeds. So if you have weeds in your yard like Dallas grass and other uh, perennial weeds, it's not going to do anything to help you with this. So this is going to, you know, weeds that are their annuals, they die out in the cold weather, they drop seeds which will um, sprout a new plant from that seed that was uh, left over from last year's plant. That's at least the way I understand it. This is Resolute, so it's a granular, but I, but I mix it in a tank and I spray it out on this big spray tank right here. Um, you can also get this in liquid form, um, which is the same thing, you would mix it in some sort of spray tank. Um, you can also get it in a granular form. So you might start seeing stuff at the big box stores or wherever you buy chemicals that says uh, a 50 pound bag and it'll say 0 0 7 with prodiamine or 0 0 7 with pendimethylam or something like that. So um, there's some other. Uh, options out there, but this is the one that we use. It's it's not that expensive and it also does a great job on uh, Keeping the crabgrass out as well as many other weeds So you might say Jason so is that is that really all I need to know is that all there is to it? Just put this out uh, and again oftentimes the commercials on TV that talk about keeping your weeds out I'll tell you to put your pre emergent out and, and it's already too late You know at least in our air so you want to get out again before the weeds start germinating Another one you might see, the 007 with dithiopyr. Now, dithiopyr is the active ingredient in a product we use sometimes called Dimension. Now, there may be a generic version that some people use. And when, when I use Dimension, if I'm going to use that, and to be honest with you, I don't use it much anymore. But that is if you uh, spray your lawn. Let's say I'm telling you, hey, get your pre-emergent out before the crabgrass germinates. Well, let's say that you, that you run late one year, okay? Or if you're in business for yourself and somebody calls you in March and you're thinking, oh boy, I'm, I'm afraid the crabgrass may have already germinated. Now, it may be very tiny and you can barely see it, but if you think the crabgrass has already germinated, again, at that point, the prodiamine is not going to do you a whole lot of good, so you're going to go with the with the dimension and dimension it will it will help with crabgrass that hasn't germinated but if it has germinated and it's in a very early stage of its life cycle uh, it can also help to control that as well so in those early early stages of the crabgrass 
and, and, you, and you're late, you're too late for Prodiamine, you might want to go with, with a product like Dimension. That's the main reason I use it. Some people want to use mix up the chemistry, so they might use Prodiamine one uh, time and, then, and Dimension another time because they don't want to put the same chemistry out uh, every single time to, to keep weeds from building up a resistance. Okay, so you see here that to answer like what's the best pre-emergent, I mean it takes a little bit of uh, understanding of what is the actual weed that you're trying to target. Now, so the other thing I'm using a lot of, and this is for warm season lawn, so the Prodiamine and the, and the Dimension, you can use in warm season grasses, cool season grasses. And, and yeah, if you just want to use those, it is certainly way better than nothing. And certain grass types don't have as big of a crabgrass problem as other. Again, like Bermuda grass like this, I mean, just will get totally covered in crabgrass if you don't um, treat it properly. But other grass types, St. Saint Augustine, Centipede, and probably some of the cool season grasses just don't have as much of a crabgrass problem. Now, I use this product a lot, but for a different purpose. So this is Spectacle Flow. It's a more expensive product. And so this is what I'm going out with in, in September and October. And I'm trying to get um, Poa annua as one of the target weeds, but not just Poa. A lot of the cool season weeds, the hen bit, the purple dead nettle, the hairy bittercress. I mean, there, there's so many cool season weeds in our lawns, and this is a product we're using to try to prevent that. But I'm not, I'm not only using it then, this year I'm actually gonna start using it in May as well, because we're getting big time problems with dove weed and, and just chamber bitter and some other things in the lawn. So I'm gonna go out with six ounces of Spectacle Flow per acre in May. And then when I go back in the fall, September, October, uh, I'm going to go uh, six and a half ounces is what I use to try to get the POA. And one of the great things about Special, kind of like the Dimension, if you're running a little bit late and some POA's already germinated, um, hopefully the Spectacle has a, has a little bit of reach back ability, meaning it can um, hopefully knock out some baby POA. And we're typically going to mix that with Simazine to help accomplish that and knock out the POA annua. Again, that's the, one of the main target weeds, but it's not the only weed we're going after. Okay, so you understand you got your warm season weeds that are germinating uh, early in the year. You got your cool season weeds that are germinating in the fall. This is going to vary depending on, on temperature from year to year. It's going to obviously vary depending on where you live. You know, further south it's going to obviously get warm uh, quicker in, in early in the year and it's going to stay warm longer late in the year. So you're going to have to adjust the timing on this. Better to be early with it than late. You know, like I said, you put your Prodiamine out late, it's not going to really uh, give you much benefit. Spectacle is a great product in the fall for all outstanding results for POA, but you could also use Prodiamine in the fall, but it's not going to give you quite the same results uh, as the Spectacle will. So you think, well, why wouldn't, if Spectacle is superior, why wouldn't you use it uh, earlier? Well, uh, it, it's more uh, significantly more expensive and the Prodiamine is an outstanding product trying to prevent crabgrass which is the main one we're going after in that situation. Some people put it all out at one time like I'm saying I'm going out one time uh, I'm using 0.85 pounds per acre of the Prodiamine earlier in the year using six and a half ounces of the Spectacle Flow that's on Bermuda and Zoysia yards in the fall on the Centipede and St. Augustine I'm only using four ounces per acre just do it one time. Some people split that up you'll hear what they call split apps so they'll come in with three ounces in spectacle in let's say um, September and come back with three more ounces in November and they're trying to to, to make it last longer and they're trying to if, if some of that POA may germinate over a longer period of time and to be able to get it um, you know be able to get it if it's germinating at different times for me I'm not doing the split apps I'm going uh, all my Prodiamine round one coming back with spectacle again in May trying to get ahead of that dove weed some of the other summer weeds, Kalinga and things like that, and then coming back with Spectacle again in the fall. Appreciate you watching. If you think about getting into weed control and fertilization business or starting a mowing business, go to LawnCareLife.com. There's the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. There's the Weed Control Cheat Sheet, which tells you products to use, the rates, the grass types they're safe for, things like that. Uh, there's programs, pricing charts. There's a lot of stuff over there. Lawn Care Business Master Academy, Mosquito Spraying Academy. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. So go check it out, LawnCareLife.com. Appreciate you watching. Subscribe, and I'll keep the information coming for you. Talk to you later. Bye.